Hi, it's Karen the Weekend Craftaholic and today is all about candles as you can see. I'm going to talk you through some candle making kits that I recently received for my birthday. I received a gift voucher for Class Bento. Now I'd never even heard of this website but it's definitely something you should check out. Now I'm not affiliated with them so this isn't a promo or anything like that but I was really impressed with all of the different classes and things that are available. I was able to get two different kits with the gift voucher I had. I just put a little bit extra towards it. This was the first one handmakers factory and this was the cheaper of the two so it was around about 40 Australian dollars I think and you can see here I'm just scrolling through the page and it gives you all the information about what you get in the kit now some of them you do actually get video support as well or there's classes where you've got one-on-one -on -one or pre-recorded videos whatever you want to do I really just wanted kind of a kit arriving that I could work through myself the second one that I got, you can see here, this was the bigger of the box. So this was twice as expensive. And you were able to order some add-ons as well. So you'll see when I'm doing the unboxing that you can actually just buy extras as well to go with your supply, which is what I did for this one. So really impressed with all of the classes on here. Check it out if you've not come across it. Don't think you need to be in Australia because some of them are just online as well. So definitely worth checking out if you're looking to try something new. And I have never really dabbled with candle making before. I've done the usual thing of melting down some candles that I've owned just to make it into a new one, but never from scratch. So let's get stuck into the video. I'm going to show you an unboxing of both of the kits, and then I'm just going to show you some photos and a little bit of video as well during the candle making. And then at the end, you'll see my end result as well. And that's where I'll give you a bit of a review of both of these boxes. Now, I will say from the outset, this video was taken two different different portions of time. I received these when it was my birthday back in January so it's, it's been a long time in the making. It took about three months to get here but I was super busy and I finally got a chance over a long weekend to actually play with these and enjoy them as well. So first of all you can see here this is the, the cheaper of the two boxes if we if we describe it as that. This is Handmakers Factory. I love the box. I love the branding. When you look here you really just feel like you're getting a gift in the mail with this particular kit and this one came the quickest as well this came within like two or three days which was super surprising you can see here it's gorgeously presented with this nice tissue paper now this one you can do the wax melts as well as just the candle so that's why I was interested in this one and it also came with this one glass jar as you can see as well as some of the little um, tea lights cases as well now each of them came with the little wax stumps as well as some stickers but what I noticed later on is that one of them was missing. So although I got six tea lights, I only actually got five of the little wicks. I wasn't able to make six tea lights out of this, just the five. It obviously came with the fragrance as well. And that was all nicely packaged up. And then a little warning sticker as well for the end of this jar. So it's definitely something you could then also give as a gift, I think, because you do have all that safety information presented with it. The little red love heart you can see, that's just the colouring as well, if you wanted to change the colours of your candles. And then you also got some stirrers as well as this little booklet everything in that I needed, all the information I needed to use. It was a very quick read. So yeah, everything you need in the box, which is great. Moving on to the second box. This is a huge box. It's hard to see on camera actually, but it's quite, quite deep as well. And this did take a bit longer. And I think it's probably why, because of the size of the box. You can see everything again is included that you need. There's a few different colors in this one, a lot more of these safety stickers, as well as some of these little pads as well. And more than you need you know these little stir as you can see in there as well as wicks a lot more than you would normally need as well so there was a lot of stuff left over that you could use in your own jars so it came with a lot more of the little glass jars so you see the tiny one here now i did order this jug as an extra i also ordered some extra wicks because i have been saving up my glass jars the soy wax was huge this is a kilo and absolutely went forever in the fragrance as well look at the size of the fragrance bottle compared to the other one and again very well packaged there was no spillages really impressed with with all of that and the little jars you got too now this is the one that actually then emailed all the instructions there was heaps and heaps of information um, I did print it out you'll see that towards the end but I'm just moving now on to the pictures because as I started to make this in the kitchen over the stove I thought it's gonna be too difficult to do a video so I did take some pictures as I went along and you can see here I ended up 
using my glass Pyrex jar because I realized pretty soon as I started to put the plastic jar into the hot water it just kept it, there was no weight to it it just kept wobbling around feel safe at all so I just stuck with my glass jar now if you've not done candle making before it's super easy you've got a pan of hot water you put your jug in you put your wax in and just wait for that to melt what I've added in here is the coloring as well as some of the fragrance now the smaller kit that I got the first kit I, I really did not like that fragrance at all so I didn't actually use it everything I used was out of the second bottle so I'm glad I got a bigger bottle with that and you can see here just some pictures that I took whilst the wax was setting so you can see here they provided you with everything you need to keep the wick in place to keep it in the center I did make extra ones myself as I'd mentioned so you'll see a photo soon where I'm using my scissors and some tongs and all kinds of things just to keep that wick in the center but yeah you can see here just as the wax is set in just oh that color changes as well which is great so when I originally did this this green colored one I thought oh man that's that's going to look very strange but it actually looks quite nice once it's out and because it's more of kind of a creamy vanilla color this was one that I did just in a glass jar so I've been keeping my glass jars and of course that takes heaps and heaps of the soy wax which is great because those candles will last a long time and now this is the finished result so this is what I want to show you so the wax melts I absolutely love the ability to do these it didn't take a lot of wax uh, I do have a wax burner as well so that's going to be great to use that and then you can see this is the more substantial one so I did get a bit of wax on the side but what I'm planning on doing with this is just putting something along the side of it using my Cricut machine and then that will be a nice gift to give to someone as well this one came out of the bigger kit and I had no colouring whatsoever on this one so this is how it looks natural without any of those colours added to it and I quite like that one that's a nice little one and the fragrance I wish you could smell I wish you could smell vision you can smell the fragrances coming off on these these little tea lights I probably expect a little bit more than these they were all misshapen and obviously you can see one of them I couldn't do because a wick was missing but I you know definitely not give it a gift which you know I was kind of hoping you would be able to do because it doesn't use a lot of wax and I'm sure the little shells would be cheap enough to buy the one on the left I'm showing you here again it's got no color added to it and you can see here where I've just started to play around with those reds the one on the right hand side a little bit more pinkier and I actually put some um, Australian native flowers on the top of this after it was kind of semi set as well just to see how that would look these are some of the other jars I've used I'm not worried about that paper on the side because I'm going to do a full vinyl layer across it on my Cricut to cover that up and the blue one as well um, I really like that how that one came out as well as this green one the really unusual colors aren't they for candles the ones in the jars though I'll probably keep myself but I will put something around it just for decoration anyway but they will last a long time and yes the, the fragrance now in my craft room is absolutely gorgeous you can see the slight changes of color because I was experimenting with those little pieces that were left with the colors that I got in the bigger kit which was great I didn't use all of the little red heart although that little red heart did do lots of those pink colors you can see here I do still have some of this wax left I was determined to use it all let me tell you I've been waiting months to try this and it's I spent a couple of hours and you can see how many candles I've got out of it you know I'm really pleased with the output but I really wanted to just finish it all off I'll be honest but no I've still got a bit left which is fine I can come back at a later date definitely got lots of the fragrance left there's probably a half a bottle as well as the smaller one but what I want to do now is just really give a bit of an overview of what I felt about these kits as well just in case it's something you're interested in getting now I'm just showing you here the booklet that I got with the first one all the instructions were great there's lots of reference sites pretty simple and easy to follow this is the one that I got from the bigger kit now I won't show you in too much detail because obviously you know you need to purchase these if you want this reference material but you can see in comparison there's a lot of information in there they even send you an excel spreadsheet where you can use as a calculator as well for working out your quantities your measurements this is it here that I'm showing you here a printout of it but really great um, resource material if it's something you're interested in getting into and I think if it's something you're interested in doing as a business and maybe selling candles at markets that kind of thing this is it this bigger kit is a great starting point the smaller kit I would say 
maybe something to give to someone to, as a friend as a gift if they've never done it but they've been interested in candle making I think it would be a great gift for a beginner but if it's someone that's already a little bit savvy already tried a bit of candle making want to take it up to a next level then definitely I would recommend the second kit so I would recommend both kits but for different reasons and I'm still flipping through here this really I mean I've not even finished reading all of this I'll be honest because there's so much in there and not really what I need you know I just like an afternoon making the house smell gorgeous and then having some candles myself to use and then also a few little gifts that I can throw in on the back of that as well so a couple of these candles I'll be giving away as gifts to friends but definitely something to check out class bento there's heaps of stuff on the uh, craft related uh, yoga there's there's so much to choose from but I'm so glad I picked these for the candle kits. I did originally get the dream catcher, crystal dream catcher one, but because it was a set time on a Thursday, I just wasn't able to attend because of the time difference. And I'm just going to quickly show you as well the, what I have got left over. So I mentioned I've got about half a bottle of this left over. I really love this fragrance. I'll definitely be using that again and um, buy more wax. You know, now that I've got these supplies, it's easy enough to do. Just keep my jam jars. Doesn't have to be anything too fancy, does it? And I mentioned the other fragrance, which I've still got. And these are the colours that I've got left as well. So I used all of the red, and but I do have some of the red hat left as well, which is fine. And I'm pretty sure you can pick them up quite cheaply. Now, this was the additional kit that I purchased. So I really didn't need this at all because I had enough. They gave you more than you needed anyway in the kits. So I was able to make a couple of these, yeah, three extra jars I made on top of what was in the kit and still had all of that wax left. So bear that in mind as well. If you're interested in candle making, I'm not an expert. This is a complete beginner's guide, but I wanted to show you my experience of it. So I hope you enjoyed that. Something a little bit different. And I will hopefully see you next week. Thank you for watching.